Kids are becoming more involved in all kinds of sports activities these days, from baseball and soccer to weightlifting. What's the best way for younger athletes to train? Dr. Sean Riley from Tulsa Spine and Rehab joins us to talk about it. What should the approach be, Dr. Riley? Yes, Scott, there's been a a lot of um, attention to this matter, Um, more specifically within the last couple of years. um, There's been, you know, a lot of good evidence coming out, some um, some articles and so forth, which I found pretty interesting. But I think years ago with kids, you know, uh, if it's soccer, football or baseball, you know, kids, when they're very young, they play multiple different types of sports. And then they start to specialize too early. And that was kind of the way of the world. I mean, back then, we, we really didn't know any different. You know, if your son was really good at soccer, you want him playing soccer more and more. And there was that – I don't know if you've heard about this, Scott, but there, it was the 10,000-hour rule. So for a child to be considered an elite athlete or specialize in a sport, they would want you to train for 10,000 hours. Okay, which is crazy. And now research shows that, you know, four to six thousand hours you can be considered, you know, to specialize in a certain sport. But what got my attention was Dr. James Andrews, who's a world renowned orthopedic surgeon out on the East Coast. If I'm not mistaken, I think it's Tennessee. You know, he published some information on injuries and more specifically overuse type injuries. And he, he went on to mention that children who specialize in a single sport account for 50% of overuse injuries in young athletes, according uh, to uh, pediatric orthopedic specialists. And what happens is these kids start specializing in baseball. And so guess what a kid in baseball does, a pitcher? You know, he's going to continue to throw and throw. And it's sad to see these kids are having rotator cuff injuries at the age of 13, you know, what happens is when you're playing multiple different types of sports, you're you're focusing on different types of movement and motor type patterns, okay? As a soccer player is going to be running and kicking and jumping, a baseball player is going to be running and throwing, obviously, you know, different types of, uh, you know, other sports. There, it, It's just different types of movement development. And what they're stressing is that you're developing an athlete, Okay. Not developing a baseball player or a soccer player, whatever it may be, you're developing athletes. There was some stuff on social media that I found really interesting that Urban Meyer, okay, who is the head football coach for Ohio State University, he put up a graph. 42 of his recruits, okay, last year were multi sport athletes in high school. He had five that specialized in only. Um, and only football. Pete Carroll went on to say that in, in his recruiting process, he likes to sit down and say, "Hey, okay, so um, do you pitch? Do you what? What? How are you when you play hoops? You know, he's trying to get a a sense of what type of athlete the player is because his the responses or his experience has shown that, you know, if you give me an athlete and I can develop a really good football player. Uh, Dave Phillips and Dr. Greg Rose, who are with the Titles Performance Institute, that I'm a certified medical provider with them and do some junior work. You know, that's one of the things I remember. I was at a seminar once, and Dave said, "Just get, you know, if if you're going to give me two kids, an 18 year old prodigy that's all he's done is played golf since he was very young, or if you're going to give me an 18 year old well rounded athlete, I'm going to take the athlete every single time." And I found that really interesting because, you know, you're, you're developing an athlete with different movement patterns and so forth. Um, it went on to say that not only with overuse injuries, there was another, another study um, by Ohio State University that found that children who specialize early in a single sport led to higher rates of adult physical inactivity. I found that pretty interesting. It went on to say that those who commit to one sport at a young age are often the first to quit. Now, on the the flip side, I I thought this was pretty interesting. They do recommend early specialization in two sports. Could you guess what those would be, Scott? Uh, No, not off the top of my head. I mean, so gymnastics and ice skating. I was going to say ice skating because I could see how that would be fairly special. Yeah, very yeah. technical, you know, with the skating and so forth. And the, so the, they mentioned that the, actually those are two of, um, you know, two of the sports where it, it is okay actually to, to, to specialize early. Well, you talk about, you know, the benefits of variety and how, the, you know, that can help train different muscle groups, that sort of thing. But, you know, when you talk about the decrease in hours – or that, you know, of, of training where someone's considered an elite athlete or how much training is needed, that sort of thing. 
it also might speak to the benefits of just some time off sometimes. Yeah, I think, you know, with kids, I think they need to be kids. You know, you got to get them, you know, just experience different types of things and so forth. But when I think you were, I kind of caught you off guard when I, I told you about that 10,000 hour rule. I mean, that, mm-hmm. that's a bunch of hours. And, you know, there was a recent survey and assigned in some scientific literature regarding sports specific practice. Um, and the author found that elite competitors require far less than 10,000 hours of deliberate practice. Uh, specifically, these studies have shown that basketball players, for instance, require 4,000, field hockey 4,000, maybe wrestling six, which are far less than 10,000 hours. More importantly, related to injuries and so forth, it really sets uh, it can set kids up to to have some trouble down the road. That's why we want them doing multiple different things. That we see way too many of those overuse type injuries. For well-rounded care, get in touch with the team at Tulsa Spine and Rehab, 918-743-3737.